Today on The Mix, we're gonna make a chocolate mousse with coconut whipped cream. Is that, are we really gonna make that? I'm so yeah. excited. I told you I like chocolate and I like dessert. I can't believe it. We're gonna make chocolate on the show. It is. Um, so for this recipe, we are going to be using a little bit of honey just for those who have still eliminated all sugar out of their diet. We, you can make this eliminating the honey as well. Obviously it just wouldn't be as sweet, but we're going to use some honey, some almond milk, some avocado, and a little bit of salt. Simple ingredients, that's how we make it here. We use healthy and nutritious food yep. that are fast, fun, and easy. And the star of the show is going to be cacao powder. I thought I was the star of the show. Sorry, sorry to burst that bubble. <laughs> That's fine. Being the cacao powder, this is what's going to give it that chocolate goodness without any of that, you know, crazy added sugar and artificial sweetener. Kind right. Of thing. And cacao powder is actually a really healthy food. Uh, you know, just by itself, it doesn't really have any sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, it has a lot of antioxidants and uh, helps people with. You know, for some people it can be a trigger. Yeah. However, I think the, the reason is because most people are using milk chocolate. Oh, yeah. It has dairy in it, you know, mm -hmm. and sugar and processed yep. milk and so forth. So cacao powder, you know, this is an organic cacao powder, yep. can be actually quite helpful with a lot of antioxidants. Yep. And other star of the show? I thought you was you were the other star <laughs> of the show. <laughs> I guess I'll be replaced with avocados today. Now, Dr. Khan, these guys superfood as well, correct? Oh yeah, they have cape on them. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so tell me about avocados, because they are going to be the main ingredients that's making this mousse texture. Right, so avocado obviously contains a lot of healthy fat, and omega-3 uh, fatty acid, but it also has a lot of potassium, and uh, it's also got quite a bit of fiber as well. And so when you eat avocado, it basically, it's kind of a, a staple for people doing ketogenic diet, which is a high fat diet. Yeah to promote insulin sensitivity. So if you have blood sugar issue, interestingly, eating more fat will help you with blood sugar issues and help you lose weight because weight gain is really an insulin problem, not a calorie problem. So if we can reduce that insulin spike by eating more food that are fat or protein or fiber, yeah. then you're gonna prevent that insulin spike and be able to lose weight. That's really the basis of ketogenic diet. So by using this recipe, you're gonna be able, it's, Actually, it's keto friendly, except it, for the honey. It is, except so for we the could, honey. You know, uh, I wonder if we couldn't substitute that uh, for people who may want to reduce sugar intake with... with stevia. Stevia or xylitol mm -hmm. or uh, Lohan fruit extract. Yep. Okay, so there's, there's substitutions as well. There are. So I'm pretty sure you just said weight loss, lose weight, all of that, I but I'm going to make chocolate mousse. That's right. Okay. How good is that? As long as we're on the same page. It's like have you a mousse and eat it too. Perfect. All right, are you ready to get started? Let's do it. Okay, we have thoroughly processed all of our ingredients, so we are gonna place them in our bowls and then stick them in the fridge for about an hour. Now we're going to make the whipped cream for the chocolate mousse. This is my favorite part. Oh my gosh, this episode <laughs> is crazy. This is Should be going episode. viral, baby. <laughs> okay, three minimal ingredients for this guy. A can of coconut milk, which you will want to chill this um, for 24 hours if possible so that the coconut water and the cream can separate because we do want that coconut cream down at the bottom. I know they sell co cans of coconut cream. I've never tried it with that. So if you want to, go for it. I just can't promise you how it's gonna turn out. Um, we are gonna use xylitol as our sweetener for this. You could also use a stevia, monk fruit. Or you can use maple syrup maple if you want to go for it. Yep. Uh, it just depends on how much sugar content you want. But xylitol, it's a good sugar replacement because it doesn't have that aftertaste that stevia has that some yep. people don't prefer. Yep. And it tastes more like sugar. It is a derivative of birch wood. Mm -hmm. So it's a you know, wood alcohol. And uh, you know, it's well, well tolerated. Some people may have some 
gassiness with it, but for most people, this works really well and it tastes more like sugar than other su sugar substitutes. Okay. Um, and then some vanilla extract. Very minimal, three ingredients. So um, you will want to use your stand mixer or a hand mixer to whip up your, to make your coconut whipped cream. Chocolate mousse with coconut whipped cream. Mmm. <laughs> it's like chocolate pudding. It's a triumph of the human spirit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so good. It's so good without the whipped cream. It is good without the whipped cream. If you just had this without the whipped cream, you can cut down the prep time. Mm -hmm. And this is still going to turn out awesome. Mm 